Hey guys, Tommy here with the Fastlane Car and TFL Now, and welcome to, well, Walmart. Now, I'm not here for socks and super cheap celery. I'm actually here because of this car and these stations. Now, this is one of many charging stations popping up across the country called Electrify America. These are DC fast charging stations, and they're largely here because of this brand right here, Volkswagen. That's right. Now, if you recall back in 2015, Volkswagen, well, they had quite the scandal, the Dieselgate scandal. And as a result of that, Volkswagen agreed to pay $2 billion towards electrification and clean energy for automobiles. And this is one of the ways they have done that through these new charging stations called Electrify America. Now, this is one of the fastest growing group of charging stations, and we're going to try it out today. Now, Let's see how it works. So to begin with, I gotta pop open the charging hatch there on the e-golf. And because this is a DC fast charger, I actually have to remove this little spunt so we get access to the full CCS charging plug. Now, at this station here in Superior, Colorado, we have two CCS stations here, two at that one, one at the third one, along with one Chatamo, which is the Nissan Leaf DC fast charging system. So Let's see what the instructions are here. Plug in first, I'm gonna take out one. Now, I have actually been having quite a bit of difficulty with this because just like every other charging station, you can create an account, link up a credit card on your app, and it should just work by holding up my phone via Apple Pay here to the reader, but it doesn't. It says credit card not found, which is a real shame because I signed up for a membership. It's $4 a month. I should get very affordable charging, but it just simply isn't working, which is really frustrating. Luckily, however, this is the first ever charging station I've ever been to with a credit card reader. So we're gonna give that a shot, see if we can get this to charge at all. Now, um, what do I do? I guess I just insert my credit card into the chip reader. Hopefully you don't see my numbers. Approved. Machine processing. Authorized, okay. So it says initiating. Come on. It just clicked and we should receive up to 50 kilowatts of charging speed if this is correct. So, welcome driver. Of course, this is gonna be more expensive than if I could use my account. It says receive session updates by text. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna click no receipt. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. And there it goes. So you can see we're at 88% battery right now. We're charging at 24 kilowatts and the charging cost is there. Let's see what the pricing is, I'm curious. So right now, come on, pricing. Right now, session fee $1 and then 21 cents per minute. So it is fairly expensive here. Like I said, it would be a lot more affordable if I could use my account I just signed up for but I can't, but there you can see uh, energy delivered 0.2 kilowatt hours. It's finally great to see more DC fast charging companies come online. And like I mentioned, this is largely a result because of this company right here, Volkswagen and their diesel gate disaster. So let me know in the comments section below, what do you think of this new uh, form of charging station? Here you can see that one Chatamo plug that would work with that Nissan Leaf once again, up to 50 kilowatts. There is the workings behind it and there, is our little e-golf charging. I did notice one other thing which is kind of neat. They actually also have a level two charger here. So same thing, you've got a credit card um, reader here and then your standard was that J1772 plug. So you could potentially use this charger if you had a Tesla with an adapter, at least this level two. Uh, the level three charging you could use with a Tesla if you went to the Chatamo and had an adapter, but the CCS, which there are I think six of here, one, two, three, five of, you have to use uh, a vehicle that'll accept a CCS plug like this e-golf. So, state of charge, 90%. I think that's good. Like, like most EVs, the higher you go, the slower it'll charge. So, while the station is um, capable of 50 kilowatts, we're only plugging along at 22 right now. So, let's go ahead and stop it. Okay. Please unplug. Your vehicle charging has stopped. Please move your vehicle. Grace period, 10 minutes left until idle fees due. That's really interesting. So let me unplug our CCS here back into port one. Now I would be over the moon if I could have used 
uh, my phone and my account. Instead, I had to pay a buck fifty-seven for hardly anything, if we're being honest. Uh, just that little two percent of charging, but that's because, of course, the more you charge, uh, the less it would be per percentage. But still, if I could have used my monthly account on this machine, I'm not sure why it's not working. Like I said, this little reader just kept saying, account, credit card not found. I could have saved a lot of money, but what are you gonna do? Just wanted to show you a new piece of tech, a new way to keep your, you guys charged and on your way. Hey guys, I wanted to show you one other thing. Just down the road from that Electrify America, I found this. This is the very first DC fast charger I've ever seen by ChargePoint. I know they're out there, but first one I've seen um, in our you know relative area. We're about 20 miles away from home. But the crazy thing about this is not that it's a DC fast charger, not that it's super easy to use. It's that it's actually here at a gas station. Now this is very common in Europe, but this is the first time I've ever seen an EV charging point at a gas station. And it's great because this is a come and go. They've got a great little bakery in there. Uh, you can get a pizza, check this out. Show you my go-to here. Iced tea, sliced pepperoni, fast charging the car. This is a really great thing. I can actually open up my app. I really like ChargePoint, guys. They're not, no one's paying me to say this, but it's a really easy app to use. Super quick, super intuitive. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's really a, a, a great thing. Highly recommend their company. Now, of course, they also have a level two charger here, which is totally being iced by these two vehicles or blocked by internal combustion engine vehicles. But uh, we're almost fully charged here, so I'm gonna cancel the app. Well, first I'm gonna have my pizza, then I'm gonna cancel the charging, and then we're gonna go home. And tomorrow we actually have the ultimate range test on this e-golf. Sorry, there's a dish fan backing up, but we're gonna put it through its ultimate limit. So head over to TFL Car soon to see what this vehicle can perform in the mountains. We're talking straight up Interstate 70 at like 9,000 feet of elevation. So that should be fun. So pizza time, unplug time, and then home.